Well, how's it going, you glorious bastards? My name is Fox Soul. Welcome back to the channel and welcome to a new video series here for Sonic Dream Team. So, I know this is a little bit of a far cry from Lords of the Fallen or any Souls like games, but this is kind of a test video, the same case scenario because Pika Combat's coming out and I stated in a video before that I was going to be doing Del May Cry Pika Combat. So I bought an HDMI adapter from fucking China basically for my iPad to see it, how well it would work pretty much. And I saw Sonic Dream Team and I said, why not try it? And legitimately, I've already played a little bit of this. And I gotta say, this is a fucking console game. And I'm fucking impressed per se. Now, I just basically went ahead and wiped all my data, started all over from scratch because I want to bring a fresh perspective on this. Yeah. Uh -huh. I, I gotta say, like, I'm actually kind of impressed with this. Like, the Sonic Mobile games has been out in recent times, it's been like I don't know, like the dashing games and stuff like this, like stuff I was never really fully interested in. And then this comes out. I try it. I'm thinking I'm, I was expecting from what I saw on the iPad, like, oh, that's going to be like, you know, another one of those dash games. Well, it's not. This legitimately is feels like it could be a console game. Kind of upsetting, too. I'm kind of upset that this actually isn't. Right now we're just doing the tutorial, I guess, and just learning basically how Sonic, you know, plays, or I guess in general, other characters would play. But I gotta say, I mean, it functions just like Sonic Colors to a certain degree. It's really good so far. And it's something that I probably, if you guys like, I probably would continue because if you don't if you don't know too much even though if you came to this channel and you saw me do lords of the fall and bloodborne and stuff like this souls like games sonic is a game series that i legitimately Madam disembodied voice i made it here wherever here is this is reverie haven my home whoa <laughs> well nice to put a face to the voice likewise I am R.E.M., Dreamweaver and Guardian of the Reverie. You, Sonic, need no introduction. Now, I need your legendary heroism and skill to recover the Dream Orbs. Oh, this? These contain the power of the Reverie and allow me to Dreamweave. With enough of them, I can get us through the twisted dreamscapes Dr. Eggman has constructed. This way will be able to restore each of your friends. Sonic! I knew you'd find us! Oh, I had some help this time. I'm sorry. I'm not strong enough to free everyone yet. I've explained the situation to them, even though I cannot fully reach them yet. Tails seems to have grasped the situation especially well. From what REM's explained, each dreamscape is locked down like a secured bunker. We can wave from the inside, but we can't get out. Yes, I can use the power of the dream orbs and dream weaving to reunite you all. But I cannot help you wake up until I reconnect with the dream core. Well, Ari, anyone who wants to help out is all right in my book. Amy, you ready? Because it looks like we need to hustle and grab those dream orbs. Ari? Yeah. He likes to hand out nicknames. It means he trusts you. <laughs> it's a kid's story. That's all it is. No, before I was really interrupted by a cutscene. <laughs> Sonic has been a series that is my childhood. Like, growing up, you know, you had those kids with Super Nintendos and everything. I was the kid with the Sega Genesis. First game I had was Sonic, Gen uh, was Sonic and Knuckles. And since that point period, I, I've always liked Sonic in general. 
It wasn't until much later in the series, probably after Sonic 06, to be completely honest, that I started not liking the series. But, I mean, Sonic has a place in my heart, and this right here actually is a series. It's a, it's a game that I actually gotta admit that I kinda like. How am I supposed to get that ring? How am I supposed to get that? Hmm. Maybe I need to go fast. Oh. oh, I'm not worried about it. And I'm not worried about it right now. But there is a red ring there that we need to somehow try to collect. But no, Sonic has been a series of it's been my childhood and I figured this would be a good test to see, you know, just if this HDMI adapter to the iPad would work pretty well. And so far it's meeting expectations. Not gonna lie, I'm a little concerned or upset in a sense because I would have figured that this game itself would be a console game from the way it's playing. Like this is something I would expect like the PS fucking like PS4 or whatever would have right about now. But it's on iPad and it's not a Sonic Dash game, which really was like what I thought this might have been originally when I first saw it. Because I'm going to be honest with you, like all the mobile games of Sonic so far that I have played. Yeah, I wasn't too fancy about it. But I was kind of worried, that, okay, let's go play like, you know, Sonic Dash or whatever. It'd be a good test. But the only reason why I'm recording this and I'm going to go ahead and post this up on YouTube like I said, is that Pika Combat's coming out and I was debating whether to try to do an emulator on the PC or do the iPad version. And legitimately, I want to see how Bluetooth controls work and everything else. And this right here is meeting, out meeting my expectations really well because this by far, I feel like I'm playing like on a PlayStation 3 right now. Like, I feel like I'm playing Sonic Colors on the Wii right now. It looks good. It's playing good. I am actually surprised. I wonder basically how much chores are going to be in this. Because you know you're going to have those areas pretty much where it's going to be chore based. I'm sure of it. I kind of seeing that right now because each part of these acts like I guess you got five parts to an act right now from what I'm gathering so far This is your chore yeah. Eric, so you got to collect these orbs You can't just run through the level And continue it. So this is what they're gonna do to try to keep you playing the game. I guess you could say Uh Oh, well, I could just jump over that early not. Oh, well Two shards. Oh no. We're gonna have this problem here again. Is it because I changed the control scheme on this? Hmm. Give me a second here. Because I did do one thing. So I came here and I told it to do either button. But let's put this back on the boost button. Or the homing attack. Let's see some. No, don't look like that be the problem. We need to collect this. I 
it to. I feel like that's probably what the problem is. How the hell am I supposed to collect this? Am I supposed to just get like better height? Okay, so it looks like if I were just in this, it would automatically give me the height that I needed. Okay. Oh, the more you know. I guess I can get used to not just hitting XX for homing attack. I can hit hex square. Plays like unleash at that point. This ain't a bad thing. But I'm gonna be honest, like I feel like Unleash was like one of the hardest Sonic games to in the, compared to 06. down the security Eggman applied to this dream. Correct. The border between dreams is heavily guarded. That aside, we must reach it first. Then let's get going already. So yeah, basically Eggman has decided to go ahead and start invading dreams now. Oh, yeah. whoop de doo huh? Still want to know how the name of that had changed. Like... Or is that just because of American culture? Because we named him Dr. Robotnik for like Sonic and Knuckles. I believe, maybe correct me if I'm wrong. Isn't it because in Japan or whatever, he was always referred to as Eggman, but because of the, well, he was shaped like a fucking egg, but it's just because American culture, I guess, in this sense, deciding that we don't need that. We don't want that per se. I don't know. Drop in the comments below if you know more than that. on here I mean, we got a good bit so far this one right there This way, which is the exit, it looks like. Where would that other ring be at? important to collect as well I'm sorry I, I'm focusing at the same point in time I was trying to talk right now and I'm just trying to get an idea oh there it is I want to see if I get all the red rings man
collect six dream shards. All right, let's go. This is the only thing that I'm going to say I don't think I like is like the enforcement of, you know, like this could be like a knuckles type level, you know, this could be a rouge type level, not. I want to fix my controls back to like they were. I'm sorry, I got to be the person that can use either button. So I prefer XX being there we go. I'm used to that, like that's Sonic Adventure style. That's why I've, that's what I came accustomed to. Sonic Adventure was one of is probably honestly the, my most favorite Sonic game of all time. And I got to play like Sonic Adventure, man. Now my only question is, is where the hell is Shadow at? You know he's a popular character, so they should have. They haven't added him in here yet. I'm pretty sure they're gonna have to add him in here. All right. All right, camera angle, please. All right. Over it. I forgot. We don't need to jump. You can just dash like that. Yeah. Oh boy, that's kind of a little difficult right there. With the camera angle. There we go. Got to line it up. Yeah, that's our next orb. And I'll go back behind this. It turns the dreams of the pure hearted into reality. So someone could dream up anything and you'd be able to make it happen in the real world. Hmm. Interesting. Oh, God. God. Did it say pure hearted? <laughs> huh? What does that even mean? I am mandated by my creators to only grant the reveries powers to those I deem to be of noble and virtuous intentions. It was this rule that led the doctor to kidnap Cream. He thought that he could trick me if he filtered his evil dreams through an innocent mind. I was not decisive enough in repelling him. In the end, the best I could do was trap him in his own dreamscape. It's all good, R.E.M. We'll get your powers back and we'll stop him. We always do. I do not know what the hell they did to Rouge's voice actor, but that was not seductive at all. Oh, man, look, we got a crash right now. I think actually that is the Elgato that crashed. Give it a second here. Yeah, because I can hear it on the tablet itself. Oh, boy. So let's see. Activate. Looks like it's crashed for a good bit here. I think I know the problem. Okay, this is why it needs to. Okay, like I said, this is all a test anyway. But I'm going to go ahead and end the video here. I just want to verify something real quick. Does it come back up? Yep, sure does. Okay, cool. That's all I needed to know. All right, guys. If by any chance you like this video um, and you want to see more Sonic Dream Team, let me know. But this was, like I said, this was a test for when the uh, Pika Combat comes out. And I figured, you know what, I haven't really posted much of anything else on the channel. So why not? You guys let me know in the comments below. Until next time, take it easy. Have a good one. Do apologize about some of the errors in the stream in this um, video, but hey, can't be helped sometimes. So until next time, take it easy and I'll catch you later.